Hi students, welcome to today's class. So I hope that you are all preparing well for your JE mains examinations and you are all uh, writing well also. <coughs> so in today's class also, I am going to explain a very very important models which are very very important for our JE mains examinations. Okay, so such a type of one problem is there. Let us see this problem. If x square plus x plus 2 whole square minus a minus 3 of x square plus x plus 1 into x square plus x plus 2 plus a minus 4 into x square plus x plus 1 whole square. It is a uh, quadratic, not biquadratic equation, x square into x square x to the power of 4. It is a biquadratic equation, has at least one root. It has at least one root, it has at least one root, then find the complete set of values of a. So, here a is also there in this equation, we have to find out the complete, that means a belongs to which set, what is the domain of a such that the equation has at least one root. So, at maximum it will have see here x square x square x to the power of 4, x square whole square x to the power of 4. So, at most it should have 4 roots, actually it has at most 4 roots, but is saying at least it has at least 1 root, that means at least 1 real root at least one root means at least one root, one real root it has, then we have to find out the complete set of values of A. Then see the solution, then how to proceed this problem. So in this problem, let us substitute here such type of a very big expression there. So let us reduce that equation. Okay, now. So let us substitute, let x square plus x plus 1 is equal to t x square plus x plus 1 is equal to t, so that what are the bounds of t, what is the range of t, x square plus x plus 1 is equal to t, if you substitute here, then t belongs to, so here, see the discriminant here, so x square coefficient is equal to 1, x square coefficient is 1, which is greater than 0, therefore it has a minimum value. What is the minimum value? 4ac minus b square by 4a. That means uh, 4 minus b square means 1 by 4a4. That is equal to 3 by 4. So the minimum value is 3 by 4. The t belongs to 3 by 4. And the maximum value is, if you see here, it's a discriminant. Discriminant here, delta uh, b square minus 4ac. That means 1 minus 4 less than 0. Therefore, it does not have any real roots. It does not have any real roots. Therefore, the maximum value is infinity. The maximum value is infinity. So, that is a t belongs to 3 by 4 come to infinity. Okay, now let us keep it that. Now, change the given equation in terms of t. So, here x square plus x plus 2 is there. That means we have to add 1 on both sides. So, this will become t plus 1 whole square minus a minus 3 into x square plus x plus 1 is equal to how much t into x square plus x plus 2 means what here x square x plus 1 is there add 1 on both sides that's why t plus 1 plus a minus 4 okay now so a minus 4 there x square plus x plus 1 is there that is equal to t t square is equal to 0 understand this t square is equal to 0 Okay, now let us uh, <coughs> uh, expand this, expand this what happens you see, so this is equal to t square plus 2t plus 1. So here minus of a minus 3 into, so this is a t square plus t plus a minus 4 into t square is equal to 0. So this implies t square plus 2t plus 1. So this is equal to minus a t square. So, this is a minus a t minus 3 t square minus into minus plus 3 t square minus into minus plus 3 t plus a t square minus 4 t square is equal to 0. Right, any more cancellations? See here t square plus 3 t, 3 t square 4 t square 4 t square here also minus 4 t square gets cancelled. Understand? So, any more now? t square, see here, minus a t square plus a t square gets cancelled. So, 2 t plus 3 t, 5 t. 
so this is a 5t plus 1 2t plus 3t 5t plus 1 minus 8t minus 8t is equal to 0 so let us take t common outside so if you take the t common outside so therefore 5 minus a 5 minus a into t plus 1 is equal to 0 this implies 5 minus a plus t plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore t is equal to plus 1 goes to the other side minus 1 uh, otherwise 1 by a minus 5 so therefore t is equal to how much 1 by a minus 5 okay now so your t value is 1 by a minus 5 now coming to here observe here t belongs to 3 by 4 to infinity that means what t is greater than or equal to 3 by 4 greater than or equal to 3 by 4 so here also 1 by a minus 5 should be greater than or equal to 3 by 4 1 by a minus 5 should be greater than or equal to 3 by 4 okay now so let us bring this 1 by a minus 5 minus 3 by 4 greater than or equal to 0 lcm a minus 5 into 4 this side 4 this side so 3a so minus uh, minus 3 into a minus 3a minus 3 into minus plus 15 greater than or equal to 0 so 4 plus 15 so how much this is a 19 minus 3a by 4 into a minus 5 greater than or equal to 0 okay now so here clearly a should not be equal to 0 a should not be equal to 0 and uh, so let us solve this uh, using uh, baby karu method otherwise uh, even a greater than inequality type also we can solve it okay so let us continue the solution welcome back to the remaining calculation so you can take four constant uh, you can take if it become a zero so this is equal to 19 minus 3a into a minus 5 is greater than or equal to zero here minus 3a is there no let us make it as a positive 3a minus 19 into a minus 5 less than or equal to 0 so by wavy curve method so this is equal to 5 so 90 what is the 0 of this uh, 3a minus 19 means 19 by 3 so this was 3 this is equal to 19 19 by 3 so less than means inside but here a you should not take here why because a is in the denominator so that's why a belongs to open bracket 5 comma 19 by 3 closed bracket a belongs to 5 comma 19 by 3 closed bracket okay so if a belongs to 5 comma 19 by 3 then this equation has at least one real root okay now right very very nice problem so i hope that you understand this solution so let us move to next problem hi students welcome to this problem so very very easy problem find the coefficient of x power n in the expansion of so what is this uh, term given 1 minus 9x plus 20x square whole power minus 1 let us factorize the uh, denominator so, so what is the base 20x square minus 9x uh, plus 1 is there 20x square minus 9x plus 1 is there so 20 into 120 so this is equal to uh, 4 5s are 20 4 5 so here 20 x square minus 4 x minus 5 x plus 1 so this is equal to 4 x will come on 5 x minus 1 minus 1 common 5 x minus 1 so this is a 5 x minus 1 into 4 x minus 1 so factors are very easy so let us write this as a 1 minus 5 x into 1 minus 4x whole to the power of minus 1 okay now so this is given by so this is a 1 by 1 minus 5x into 1 minus 4x okay now let us do the partial fractions that as a 1 by 1 minus 5x minus 1 by minus 4x then what you have to multiply so that you will get the numerator as a uh, 5 so let us multiply with the 5 here and you multiply with the 4 let us check what happens 5 ones are 5 minus 4 5 minus 4 1 uh, 5 fours are minus 20x minus 4 into minus plus uh, 20x will get cancelled okay so this is equal to 5 into 1 minus 5x whole power minus 1 4 into 1 minus 4x whole power minus 1 okay now 
So let us expand this. So you know the binomial expression for a negative index. So this is equal to 5 into 1 plus 5x into 5x whole square into 5x whole cube plus so on, 5x whole power and so on, minus 4 into, so that you will get 1 plus 4x plus 1x 4x square, 4x cube, so on, 4x whole power n plus so on, okay now, right, clearly from this, uh, what is the x power n expansion, sorry, what is the x power n coefficient here? 5 power n but of course outside 5 is there therefore 5 to the power of n plus 1 minus here what is the coefficient of x power n 4 power n 4 power n but of course outside 4 is also there you have to multiply with the 4 no minus 4 to the power of n plus 1 so 5 to the power of n plus 1 minus 4 to the power of n plus 1 that is the coefficient of uh, x power n in this expansion okay now so very easy problem this is. I hope that you understand this uh, solution. So let us go to next problem. Hi students, welcome to this problem. So this problem from sequence and series. So there is a uh, one series is given here. Find the sum of the series he is asking. So let us take a given problem. K runs from 360, 1 by k into root of k plus 1 plus k plus 1 under root of k. Now we have to find out sum to uh, 360 terms. Well, from first term to 360 terms sum you have to find out. So this type of problems let us separate them into two terms. Let us separate them into two terms. Then how to separate? So let us see here k runs from 1 to 360. So numerator is 1. So in the denominator can I take common root k into root of k plus 1. Can I take common root k into root of k plus 1? Yes. If I take root k into root of k plus 1, so here what remains? Root k remains. Here what remains? Already root k outside. So here root of k plus 1 will come outside. Understand? Yes. So afterwards what I will do now? I will multiply the numerator and denominator with the root of k plus 1 minus root k by root of k plus 1 minus root k. Okay now, right. So if I multiply in the denominator, what happens? a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square, that is a k plus 1 minus k 1. Up to here, this you will get 1. Understand? So in the numerator, what you will get? So this is a sigma runs from 1 to 360. This is a root of k plus 1 minus root k by root k into root of k plus 1 you will get. Understand? Now let us separate the denominator for both the terms. This is a root k plus 1, root k plus 1 cancel. Root k, root k cancel. So what remains here? k runs from 0 to 360. This is a 1 by root k minus 1 by root of k plus 1. Okay now, 360 degrees. Let us now you open the sigma notation. So what will you get? So this is equal to 1 by root 1 minus root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus root 3. Understand? In place of substitute k is runs from 1. First substitute 1. Next to 2, 3, 4 like that. Last term will be 1 by root 360 minus 1 by root of 361. Okay now. So everybody knows that. Here cancellations will take place, all terms will cancel it. So this is 1 minus 1 by root of 361. 1 minus 1 by root of 361 means 19. So 19 minus 1, so this is equal to 18 by 19. So 18 by 19 will be the final answer. Okay. So very easy problem. The only thing idea that you have to get is take root of k into root k plus 1 common outside afterwards multiply the numerator denominator with this term so you will get the answer okay so i hope that you understand this solution let us move to next problem hi students welcome to this problem evaluate integral minus pi by 2 to 2 pi sin inverse of sin x dx then how to do this problem so this type of problems can be uh, done if you draw the graphs so in a, uh, if a graphical method, if you approach the graphical method, the problem will be very, very easy. So let us take this uh, graph. It has a 
x axis and it is y axis. Let us take from minus pi by 2 to 2 pi. So, this is a minus pi by 2, this is a pi by 2, this is a pi, this is a 3 pi by 2, this is a 2 pi. So, and it is a 1 and it is minus 1. Okay. Now. So, we know the graph of sin inverse of sin x is just like a sin x, just like a sin x graph only, but it will be like this. So, this is a 0, pi by 2 is 1, again this is 0, 3 pi by 2 minus 1, it is 0, again minus pi by 2 1. So, it will be like this, straight lines it will come. Right. So, this is from minus pi by 2 to plus 3 by 2. So, now you have to find out the area enclosed between this uh, minus pi by 2 to this, this area, this area and uh, this area you have to find out, this area you have to find out. Understand? So, here find out the area enclosed between this uh, minus pi by 2 to 5 by 2 that will be the area. So, here area the answer final answer is equal to now all are three triangles you are getting now. So, the triangles means what half into base into height. So, here since it is lies below the x axis minus half into base is equal to how much 0 to pi by 2. So, so here we have to take here uh, since sin inverse of sin x here also minus pi by 2 here plus pi by here also plus pi by 2 you have to take. So, half into height is also how much pi by 2 you have to take. So, this is equal to pi by 2 height. Okay. Next one, this area is plus, plus half into base is equal to how much 0 to pi, half into pi into height, height is equal to how much pi by 2, height is equal to how much pi by 2. Okay, now, right. This area is some, uh, see this is uh, below the x axis, that is why we will take a uh, minus into half into half into base is equal to how much J pi to 2 pi 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 into height is equal to how much pi by 2. So, so if you see here you can uh, cancel these two quantities you can cancel why because these two areas you can cancel. So, next you will get uh, that is equal to minus pi square by 8. So, my, not area. So, here minus pi square by 8 is the final answer. Okay, now minus pi square by 8 is the value of this integral. Okay, now right here also you have to take minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 for sin inverse of sin x. Okay, right. I hope that you understand this solution. So, let us move to next problem. Hi students, welcome to this problem. So, for 0 less than x less than pi by 2, prove that x greater than sin x. And hence, cos of sin x is greater than sin of cos x. Okay. So, first let us concentrate on this x greater than sin x. Let us prove that. Then afterwards, automatically the second thing will be proved. First to see the solution. 0 less than x less than pi by 2. So, that means uh, x belongs to 0 to pi by 2. Open bracket. 0 to pi by 2. Let us take first uh, f of x is equal to x minus sin x. f of x is equal to x minus sin x. One function I am taking where x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 domain. For uh, take a uh, first, uh, first derivative, this is a 1 minus sin x derivative is cos x. Sin x derivative is cos x. Now, when x belongs to 0 to pi by 2, what is the value of 1 minus cos x? Is it, is it greater than 0 now, less than 0 now? Yes, definitely it is a greater than 0. See here, cos, cos 90 is equal to how much? 0, 1 minus 0, 1. That is greater than 0. So, cos pi by 4, 1 by root 2. That means root 2 by 1. 0 0.7 something. That means 1 minus 0 0.7 something means positive. So, it is always greater than 0. For all x belongs to 0 to pi by 2. So, here f of x is a function. f dash of x greater than 0 we got. Therefore, from this we can say that f of x is an increasing function, is an increasing function. So, therefore, f of x is an increasing function means what? x greater than, that means f of x is greater than 0, f of x is greater than 0, for all x belongs to 0 to pi by 2. 
what is f of x so this is a x minus sin x greater than 0 x greater than sin x so this is call it as one first equation is proved so sorry first inequality is proved x greater than sin x so this x minus sin x is a positive for all x belongs to 0 but x in the domain of 0 to pi by 2 whatever may be the value you take it is always greater than 0 okay now now for x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 so for all x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 cos x belongs to how much so this is a 1 to 0 cos x belongs to 1 to 0 so 1 to 0 is also positive value so 1 to 0 is also positive value so from this we can say that in place of x take cos x in place of x take cos x here x greater than sin x therefore cos x is greater than sin of cos x cos x is greater than sin of cos x cos x is greater than sin of cos x therefore call it as second equation cos x is greater than sin of cos x now let us observe that <coughs> from here for cos x belongs to here x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 if you observe the graph of cos x in in the uh, if cos x value is uh, 1 to 0 it belongs to 1 to 0 but if you observe the cos x graph cos x graph if you observe here it is a 0 it is a pi by 2 cos 0 1 it is a decreasing function so cos x is a decreasing function cos x is decreasing function in 0 to pi by 2 cos x is a decreasing function in 0 to pi by 2 so when cos x is a decreasing function we have one result for decreasing function x1 less than x2 implies f of x1 is greater than f of x2 if it is a less than you will get greater than if you greater than you will get less than okay so that concept we are up going to apply now okay now let us continue the solution since cos x is a decreasing function then see here already x1 less than x2 therefore f if it is a greater than f of x1 is less than f of x2 then apply the cos x function cos x is a less than cos of sin x here cos x is a cos x is a function x greater than sin x x1 greater than x2 then f of x1 less than f of 2 for decreasing function so you call it as a 3 already 2 we have already 2 what we have so there we have this uh, so here is here cos x is less than uh, let us other first otherwise we write down sin of cos x is less than cos x and cos x is less than cos of sin x okay now so this is equal to sin of cos x is less than cos of sin x otherwise reverse it cos of sin x is greater than sin of cos x cos of sin x is greater than sin of cos x okay so this is the logic we applied here so decreasing function definition we have applied okay now so dear students i hope that you understand these all these five problems today's class so in the tomorrow's class some more problems i will stand before you so until then all the best for your exams